Hey there, what's going on? Thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load BST3 plugins inside of your MPC software. I want to start by giving a big shout out to IM site and the Facebook group MPC Gang. So one of the member uh, posted that VST software a couple of weeks ago and uh, I decided to give it a try. So the name of the plugin is Kush Element. So it's a free software. It has not reached the full version yet. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to successfully install and run VST3 softwares. So here we are on the website for Kush View Element VST Host plugin. Here, once you go to the website and you can head over to the software section, you will see that you have uh, two options to download uh, View Element. You have the subscribe option, which is a recurrent payment of $2. And then you have the single ver single single option, which is a one-time download. Here there is a third option, which is not showed on the screen, which is the GitHub option, where you can download the source code of the software for free. And the reason why it's free, it's a, a collaborative project where developers from around the globe collaborate to come up and improve come up with some solution and improve the software so if you are tech savvy enough you can go over there to github download the zip files and then compile them on your computer to build the executable file if you've never done done this before it can be quite challenging but not impossible or if you have a friend who is able to help you through the process um, it might be easier because uh, it's, it's kind of tedious or you can simply uh, pay your two dollars and download the software and I think uh, for two dollars this is really a gift I would say it's very uh, comparable with um, Patchwork which cost $100 and here you have the options, the option to download this for only 2 bucks. So I would say it's definitely worth the $2. So the software comes with a lot of features which are listed here. I'm not sure if this is an exhaustive list of all the features which are available in the software. Uh, however, today we are only interested in the VST3 uh, support from this software. So we are just going to download it and load one VST3 software inside of the MPC and uh, see how it goes. So even though this video is intended to show people who are using the MPC software or MPC Beats how they can load VST3 plugins, uh, in case you are using any kind of uh, DAW or any type of tools where you need to have a VST host, this might be useful for you. All right, so um, now we will just uh, open up the software and uh, I will show you how to con configure that thing properly. All right, so here we are. Uh, once you install the software, um, you should first run this software in standalone. This is very important because in VST, you will not have access to the same menus uh, that you have in standalone and you need to uh, first run it in standalone in order to map your VST 
uh, folders inside of the software um, so in order to do that you have to go to the top menu and then you go to the view option and then plugin manager from here you have to click on option and then scan for new or updated VST3 plugins. At some point you will have to also map your VST3 plugin path. So once you've done that, uh, you will have access to your VST3 plugins inside of the, the software, both standalone and plugin version. So let's say um, you want to load a VST plugin inside of here. Uh, you would go to the plugin section and you can just type in the name of the, the plugin, the VST3 plugin that you are trying to load. So let's say I want to load my Reason Rack plugin instrument. So here you are going to select your VST3 plugin, click on Control and hold while you dragging the instrument in your main window section and then you drop it so here um, like MIDI is in orange and then audio is in green so the only thing I need to do right now is connect the dots so my MIDI in to the reason rack plugin. So it looks like I don't have any MIDI uh, connected right now. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and connect my MIDI keyboard. All right, so I have plugged my MIDI keyboard. I'm just going to select it here from the options menu. And I am going to select an instrument from uh, the Reason Rack. Oh, there is an update available. All right, so I'm just going to uh, load whatever here. And as you can see, I am able to play my, my uh, instrument here inside of the reason rack so there are more complex things that you can do uh, inside of this but um, i'm just going to show you a very simple workflow on how you can load any vst3 plugins inside of the kushu element uh, vst uh, host and uh, then you can go ahead and, and be fancy with it so you can load both instruments and FX plugins and you can build some uh, pretty cool FX chains using that tool so uh, now let's go straight into the MPC software here we are inside of the MPC software and uh, I already have loaded my Kushu element VST host plugin so once I open it up, you will see uh, that you have uh, pretty much the same window, same interface. You can access the menu here, but uh, like I was saying before, you cannot scan for new VST, VST plugins from here directly. You need to do it first on the standalone version uh, so that any new VST become available in the plugin version. So that's something that they might fish, fix uh, in some other releases, but uh, right now, 
this is version 0.41 and in this version you need to scan for any new VSTs in standalone mode so here I'm going to load the recent instrument so I'm going to hold the control key on my keyboard while I'm dragging and dropping the reason rack plugin to the main window section and once I drop it it's going to route my audio out and my MIDI out from the reason plugin so from the reason plugin I'm going to select the VST and route my MIDI input to the reason rack And that's it. I'm able to uh, get sound. So this is uh, an alternative to patchwork. Uh, I know it's uh, everyone's favorite uh, VST host plugin for those limited DAWs which cannot read VST3 plugins, um, like for sure the MPC software, and I'm pretty sure. Uh, Reason users also use patchwork for some stuff But yeah, that's it for the video man So I was just trying to show it to people because it's been a struggle for myself um, Like there are some very very cool plugin instruments as well as FX That I have on my stash. However, I was not able to uh, use them and um, It's not a cheap software um, I think it can compete very well with patchwork and uh, I'm pretty sure that once they they release like version one of this it's not going to cost two dollars so I highly recommend you go ahead and buy this software and uh, this is not a sponsored video I'm just uh, showing you some cool stuff that I found here and I think that a lot of people will appreciate uh, this software and uh, yeah so that's it so if you appreciate this video please drop a like comment subscribe share and uh, I catch you on the next one so thank you for sticking with me till the end of this video and once again big shout out I am site MPC game